This is the Angel Cryptex and we're gonna solve it. Look at this big box. It's so big. It has so many things going on and I am pretty confused as to where to start. What's up? Welcome back to another Puzzle Wonder video. Today we're gonna solve the Angel Cryptex puzzle. This is the first puzzle ever that I tried from this type of puzzle. It is a Cryptex or a puzzle. Basically it has a lot of riddles on it and the goal is to unlock the box. Quick shout out to Lawrence. When he sent me this box he said that it has some imperfections. Honestly I don't see any high quality print looking good. If you look at it you can see a poem and you can see a lot of symbols and a lot of numbers and you don't really know what that means. Well that's because it's all part of the puzzle. You gotta figure it out. I will figure it out for you guys. This will be a pretty cool experience for me as this is completely new. I did try some escape room puzzles in the past on this channel, but I never tried a cryptex in my whole life. Yeah. Your goal is to solve the puzzle with the clues that are printed on it. No banging or external tools are needed to solve the puzzle. I'm pretty sure this should be solved as a standalone puzzle without any internet, anything. This is what I know. First I need to solve the outer part of the puzzle. There will be some kind of code to decipher. Once we do this, the inner part will start rotating. This cylinder will start rotating. And we'll solve the puzzle when this cylinder will get out of the puzzle. It's a level 10 puzzle, it should be super difficult. So so it's a pretty big hat I'm putting on. Got the, got the, never mind. It's gonna be pretty difficult, but it's gonna be a fun challenge. Like, subscribe, and let's start solving the puzzle. I'm pretty excited about this. I like when I solve a new kind of puzzle. This makes me happy. First of all, I see texts on the sides. The angel. I see angels on the sides. Every one of these angels looks to the other direction. And also there's a few things. For example, this angel has nothing above it. This text has a circle above it. And this angel has a triangle above it. This is a circle, this is a circle, and this has a triangle. And this is a circle. I also think these angels are only for decoration. Although the signs above them may come in handy. And here we see some wings. We see numbers these things we can take off there's some magnets here this has an a on it like here this has this sign on it and has slightly different magnets so possibly i will have to swap between these until i find the correct magnet configuration and that will be what opens this and here I can see another sign. I hope you can see it as well. It's the same sign as this heart. So this probably has something to do with the other part. I'm not quite sure, but if this has the heart, the heart has 15, 16, 11, 18, and 13. This has 27, 23, 22, and 21. Quite interesting. Okay, let's start reading the sign. I have a feeling this is gonna be super difficult. The angel. I dreamt a dream. What can it mean? And that I was a maiden queen. Guarded by an angel mild, witless swore was ne'er beguiled. Okay. And I wept both night and day, and he wiped my tears away. And I wept both day and night, and hid from him my heart's delight. So he took his wings and fled, then the morn blushed rosy red. I dried my tears and armed my fears with ten thousand shields and spears. Soon my angel came again, I was armed, he came in vain, for the time of youth was fled and the gray hairs were on my head. WB. What a nice poem, kinda deep, I like it. Let's read it again. I dreamed a dream, what can it mean? And I wept both day and night and hid from him my heart's delight. Gray hairs were on my head. Oh. The maiden queen was young and she was sad and sensitive. The angel came and he made her feel good. But she cried and cried and she hid her the light. The angel fled and from then on she was guarded by a lot of shields and spears. As I can interpret this, she hid her feelings maybe from the world and then all her life has passed while her feelings slept within her. That's the deep meaning of this, I think. I can feel some resistance from the puzzle itself. I feel the magnets but I don't think this is how we should solve this. Let's remove all these parts. Let's try to understand what's the matter with this. First of all, let's try and count how many lines there are. So 33 lines. How many numbers we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. 20 numbers here and 16 numbers 
here. So yeah, we have all the numbers between 1 and 36. What is this 6, 1, 35, 3, 31 thing though? What is the first thing I should understand? Is it the numbers or the poem? Also, I don't think this corresponds to any of the letters. This is probably the starting position of the cylinder. It should be at the same line as the angel starts. And here, there's no sign of anything. No banging, no external tools. Let's see if there is gravity in you. Okay, I hear stuff moving, that is for sure. Oh, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> this square has five numbers near it. This square has five numbers near it as well. This square has five numbers and this square has five numbers. I think the first step is to figure out what these mean. As you can see, every vacant square has a different sign on it. So here we have the heart. We have numbers 11, 13, 18, 16, and 15. Here we don't have any of these or any close to these, so we'll not use this. Also here we only have five and the 33, 34, 28. So I think that's irrelevant. But here we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So the heart should probably go here, I guess. What about this? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. I'm pretty sure this should be here because this is the A, this is the A, and these are the numbers closest to these. So. I'm putting this here. Let's see if there's any difference if I put it like this. I think it works. Now we have only two left. This is this and this is this. So let's start with this. Two is good with one and three and 32 is good with 31. I guess this is the best bet here. No, this goes here because this is the sign. Right. And this goes here. Oh, what? Okay, so that didn't work. Perhaps we need some rotations here. Let's go with this. My guess is it has to be like this. like this. Okay, not sure it works. Let's see if gravity makes a difference. As it seems, I'm missing something in the beginning. Let's write this first. Let's count how many letters there are in each sentence. Okay, I don't think there's any pattern here, but I can sum up all the numbers now. The third verse is the longest. The last one is the shortest. Let's sum up all of these. Okay, so these are the sums. This, the smallest one, has to go to the last, which is here. Then this. The next one will be the second verse, which is this. And last is this. No, <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try something different. So here we have a lot of 12s. So let's put the 12 facing this. We have a five in fears, which is here. So let's take the square with the five and put it here. I have, oh, oh, this actually worked for now. Did you see this? This actually spin for a second and then stopped. Not sure what's happening, honestly. And hid from him my heart's delight. <gasps> Hit from him. So the angel is looking here and he's looking here, but it's not looking here or here. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> These two will unlock the part, the first step, I believe. No? Why not? Okay, maybe we do need to use the others, but here. Either I need to follow the story and put the poles according to the story, which is a possibility. And then I need to like put one pole here, put the other one there, swap places and do a sequence of things according to the poem. Or there's one specific position I need to put the poles in that solves the first part. This is A, this is angel, maybe. This is heart. I'm not sure what these signs mean. So the angel had the heart. These numbers correspond to the angel. So 21, 22, 23 is the the angel piece. The heart is this piece. As we saw before, the numbers are corresponding to these. So this part is the heart. The maiden queen was guarded by an angel mile. The angel had the heart. It was like this. And hid from him my heart's delight. The heart, which is this piece, is now hidden. And it should go here, I think. So he took his wings and fled. I just went through the story and I tried to play with the um, pieces. I'm honestly not sure what these two mean. T. So let's assume this is tears. I know it's kind of a long shot, but we can assume that this is an angel, this is the heart, these are the tears, and these are the fears. So let's start with this. Oof. 
I need to take a break, I need to relax a bit. I'll need to think about it a little and I'll be back. Good morning everyone. It's been a day since I tried this puzzle. I thought about some different approaches. I thought about maybe summing the numbers in different ways. For example, these two, these two, these two, and these two. The numbers here are quite interesting. I'm not sure what they do. So I did name all the pieces. Maybe I did it for vain. Maybe that's irrelevant. Let's try maybe summing up the numbers differently. Okay, we have some numbers here. Not sure which of these I should pay attention to. Maybe let's sum these numbers as well. So 25, 20, 15, 16, so 76. 76 plus 35, that's 111. So this is 111. Let's sum up this. Oh, that's 111 as well. That's 108 plus 3. That's 111 as well. Okay, we found a pattern here. 75, 76, and 111. We got something going here. This is actually quite interesting. Ooh, maybe we need to find a sum of numbers that means 111. I'm not sure what's the best way to do this. Is this just checking out all the combinations? Because I can't do that. Like 33 plus 9, 118. I need to remove 7. So let's take 43, 43 plus 24. So that means we need to take the 43, which is 21, 22. We need to take the 24, which is 10 and 14. 33, which is 5 and 28, which is good. 11, which is 2 and 9. That's correct. So maybe now I need to put them in the correct places, but in this exact orientation, I guess. The angel is this. It goes here. The 1014 thing is the heart. That goes here. It feels better already. 528 will go here. Maybe this will go here. No, why doesn't it work? 107. The difference between 76 and 73 is 3 and also we have heart and tears. The difference of is also 3 and the difference between angel and fears is 7. 07 and 93 here would be 207. Let's try this and see what happens. Now we have something interesting. I believe did they do it correct. Actually, I didn't. This has to be here. I didn't pay attention to the symbol. Uh, start by removing the other two. Maybe the orientation also plays a role here. Maybe everything needs to sum up to 111 because this is 111, this is... Maybe this also has to be. So for example, this is the angel part. Maybe we need to like assemble the numbers so this sums also to 111. 25 plus 3. Okay, so this is the correct order. This is how it should be. So we know these two. Then we take the other two. This is so much fun. So unusual. I never tried something like this before in a physical puzzle. So this we need 24, which means this is the correct one. Let's just see that everything sums up correctly. 536. Good. The magic square sums up. Now we just take every one of the pieces and we place it in the correct area. So this is the A. Question is if I need to put it from here. If so, then this goes like this. Then we go to the heart. I will put it like this. And then I go here and put it like this. No, that didn't work for some reason. I'll try again. Obviously, I have something going wrong here. I think the orientation might have been incorrect. I also think there's only one option to fit everything inside the square. Like there shouldn't be more solutions to this problem. Okay, maybe I just need to look at it like this and if so, just place it straight forward. So the A part is going here, this is going here like so, this is going here like so, and this is going here like so. Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Holy, oh, this is so satisfying now. I feel like I beat the world. That was just amazing right now. Uh, what happens if I remove them? Okay, now this is stuck here. Now, if I put this here again. Now it's unlocked. What if I take out this? Let's take this out. And now it's locked again. Okay, interesting. I firmly believe uh, the challenge here now is to spin it all the way. 
Oh, what if that means I need to do the same thing, but just put it in this direction now? Because before that, I was looking at it like this. Now I'm looking at it like this. Maybe now I need to put the magnets the same way, looking at this like so. So I'm taking the angel, I put it in the angel's place like so. Still doesn't work, that means it wasn't correct. Back to the original position and then it can move again. What is this? Oh, what if there's ball bearings inside that I need to hide a compartment of sorts? Yeah, okay. I can feel some compartments moving. I can actually move this more than before. Maybe there's ball bearings that need to be at certain places. Take them from one part to the other. Ooh, it looks like there's ball bearings falling from here and then I put them... Oh, nice. Them and a little more. Another ball bearing goes here. I hit it, already move it almost the whole way. And there is here is there's a lot of ball bearings that go inside a certain compartment and then I can hide them inside this. So like many ball bearings go inside here and then I hide them. That's basically what I think happens. I just don't think I need to remove any of the magnets because then it locks the cylinder. I think I'm closed because now I arrived here. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god, oh my god. The recording stopped. I hope you saw the ending. So we finally opened it. Okay, so here are magnets and ball bearings. Quite a few ball bearings here. What happened here? This is puzzle number 37 out of 111. I'm not sure what happened in the end. I mean, I see there's four ball bearings. They were somehow traveling. In the end, one of the ball bearings got to the end, which is here and then I could open the puzzle. So I had to move it all the way from here to here and that is when the puzzle can be opened. I'm not sure where were the other three ball bearings at the same time. Oh, I see now, I see how this worked. Okay, so you remember the triangles. There's one, two, three, four triangles. I had to hide all the ball bearings in the places where the triangles are and only then I could unlock the puzzle. Super cool concept. I'm quite surprised that there was no use of the poem. It was quite confusing. And look how pretty this puzzle looks. It's really big also. I can hide something inside. Look how much space there is. I have this puzzle here. I can hide it inside. Probably be solving it sometime soon on the channel. Man, like if I need to review this puzzle, this would probably be the first puzzle of this type I ever solved. And to be honest, these whole two hours I felt like I'm having progress. Good, okay, reset. And we're good to go, this puzzle is solved. This was a monster puzzle to solve, super difficult. I'm so happy I did it. So the Angel Cryptex is now solved. So, welcome back. <laughs> In my whole life, that is. <laughs>